Hey everybody! Welcome to Learning Sunday, where every Sunday we learn something together. I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to learn this week, and you guys said how to iron. Now, I don't iron often, but I know how to iron because it's pretty simple. All you really need to know is the type of fabric you're ironing. That's basically all it comes down to, all right? So, you ready to learn together? Let's begin! All right, so step one, get all your tools satiated. You may need a squirt bottle, depending on the type of material you're working with. You may need a cloth, depending on what you're working with. You need an iron and an ironing board. I only have this tiny little one because it's what my mom bought me back in college and I don't iron often, so I've never needed to get like one of the full size, like layout kind of boards. So I'm working with this tiny one and it served me well. And then sometimes you might need to put water inside of your iron. Again, depending on what type of material you're working with. That leads us to number two. Figure out what you're working with. I wrote down, because I don't have it memorized because that's a lot of work, what material needs what setting. Now, a lot of irons will show you, they'll have on it, if you're working with linen, cotton, wool, silk, synthetic, blah, 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 blah. They have settings on a lot of irons. If you are working with acetate, rayon, silk, and wool, you put the iron on low. If you're working with polyester, you put it on medium heat. If you're working with cotton, you put it on high heat. So right now I'm working on cotton. So it's on the cotton setting, which will be a high heat or a medium, depending on how intense you wanna get. But with cotton and polyester, you have to iron them while they're slightly damp. Now, there's multiple ways to do this. One, you take it out of the dryer early. Two, you spritz it with a spray bottle. Or three, some irons have the capability of having water in them and it sprays it for you. Or four, you hang it on a hanger next to your shower while you're taking a really hot shower and then all the steam will get damp. And then it'll smell like a shower. Now if you're working with wool or lace, you have to put a damp cloth in between the wool and lace and the iron. Does that make sense? Because they're such delicate fabrics that you don't wanna have the iron touch them directly. So you put a damp cloth in between them. You don't want it soaking wet. You don't wanna do this and it's dripping. You just want it slightly damp. You know, if you're working with silk, satin, rayon, linen, and corduroy, you have to turn them inside out and then you iron them inside out. Well, how do you know which fabric it is, Rachel? Man, they have tags. The annoying tags you cut off are there for a reason. They let you know how to wash it and how to iron it. Oh, and some things say don't iron on them and then you're just stuck with a wrinkly, clothing. No, actually there's ways to get things not wrinkly without ironing them and that'll be a whole other video. But this one says, do not iron decoration. So I can iron this, but I'm not allowed to iron the Rams decoration. See, the clothes let you know how to handle them. They have good communication. Iron, always keep it stored like this. Never store it like this. Whatever, it's just chilling, do whatever it wants. The iron should always look like this unless it's an actual use. Now, with pretty much everything, you start from the collar, and work your way down and out. So it's super simple. You just whoop, I'm ironing. I wanna squirt it, squirt, squirt, squirt. Now it's damp and I'm ironing. Squirt, iron. Or if my iron doesn't do that, boop, 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 and I'm ironing. Woo! So irony. Ironing's super simple. All you're doing is getting rid of the creases. Don't sit with the iron on the thing. This is what causes burning and ruining of clothes. Don't just be like, hey oh, I'm scared to do that. Always be moving, always be flattening, lottie freaking dog. And then oh, it's time to rotate so I can get other parts of it. La la la. And we're ironing. See how simple this is, guys? We're not gonna do the whole thing because this is a pajama shirt. The back is ironed! Okay, now, immediately after you iron something, you either put it directly on or you hang it up immediately. If I just do this, it's just gonna get all crinkly again. <laughs> now, this is a 60% cotton, 35% polyester, and 5% spandex. So that's a blend, which is annoying. But because of that, I'm gonna put it on medium heat. <sighs> and work with it that way. I'll add a little steam to it. So first we're doing is the collar. Ooh, I'm a collar. And now my collar is flat. Look how flat that collar is. That's a flat freaking collar. And then you do the rest of the shirt like a normal person. You're getting rid of wrinkles and you go with the creases. If something's vintage, iron around the buttons. If it's not vintage, iron it like inside out sort of so the buttons are facing down. Like here are the buttons, go down. And then you iron like that. 
and it's ironed. And then you hang it up immediately, blah, 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 blah. So an example of putting a damp cloth in between the fabric and the iron is like this. Spray that, get this wet. Oh, you're damp now. But not soaking wet. Play it down, bloop. This is on low heat, and you iron like this. This is what it means when it says put a damp cloth in between it and the thing. And boom, you can like feel the heat and feel that it was ironed. That's how simple ironing is, people. Just don't leave the iron pressed against it. Know the fabric you're working with. You had the internet. How did you get turned back on? I didn't turn you on. When did you turn on? You have the internet to figure out what to do with each type of fabric. The tags tell you what type of fabric it is. Pants, you iron them from the waist down. If they have pockets, you turn it inside out and then you go gently against the pockets because you don't want it to crease. When you're done with the iron, keep it like this always. Never store it like that. Always store it like this. Unplug it. You are unplugged. And then wait about 10 minutes for it to cool down before you put it away. Obviously never touch this part. It is very hot. And then I read a thing online that you might want to empty out the water after every use because it can mold and get chalky inside of it. But that's it for today. That's how simple ironing is. It's really simple. Stop turning on! I hope this was helpful. If there's a professional ironer out there that's like, hey, you did that wrong. This is how I've been doing it my whole life and I've yet to burn anything and, and my clothes are wrinkly after I iron them. So I think I'm getting away with it pretty well. All right, that's it for today though. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. And remember guys, above all else, stay awesome possums.